But anyhow. We need to, now what we need to do is we need to make a push to, uh, to Washington. We need to make a push to D.C. But I honestly could not be more, uh, be less afraid. <laughs> no, stop, 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 stop. Stop. I really want you to just sit here and wait till you get your recovery back. Wait till you've recovered. Now attack again. And you are gonna do the same. You're gonna stay there. You know what, maybe, maybe it'll be good to have a break. You just walk around for a while. You go there and then attack again. And there you go, now you're attacking. Why don't you, let's see, that'll be Uh, National Folk is bypassed. Okay. Interesting. Um, and we have the weapons too. Motorize is all I'm gonna do down that line. I, who cares about tanks, am I right? Land Doctrine could be good, actually. Yeah, you know what? 99 days for that is really good. It could, that'll come in probably by the end of this war. And, uh, it's pretty good, so we'll try that. Oh, man. So, why don't we real quick try to do a quick push towards... Quick push towards New Orleans. New Orleans, whatever you call it. Nueva Orleans. If you're French. Nouveau... I don't know how to say it. Alright, that guy's gonna get wiped out really quickly. And we're gonna blitz him real quick. Hmm probably a little bit of industry in New Orleans. New Orleans. I call it New Orleans. New Orleans. I don't know. I don't even know what I call it, honestly. Did you know that actually the man who invented uh, some of the main boats used in the D-Day invasions uh, was from New Orleans, and he made them out of mahogany. They were made out of wood. But they were lightweight, you know, and quick, and, uh, and they were wide bottoms. And it's interesting because he actually made them intended to be used in like the swamps of, of you know, of the, the Delta, the Mississippi Delta in that area. Uh, they were swamp boats, you know, and, and he made them and then he modified them for the war effort. And uh, I, in the D-Day book I read, um, Eisenhower was quoted later to say that his name was Andrew Higgins. They were called the Higgins boats. And later um, Eisenhower was actually quoted to be saying, you know, Andrew Higgins was the uh, the man that won us the war. <laughs> you know, without him, we would not have won the war, which is really interesting. My puppies are yelping downstairs, and they always do this. They're like, rawr, rawr. they start howling at stuff, and I don't know why. But I suppose we'll do mm, probably this. Captain of Industry is decent enough. Why not? I'm sorry. I think this game is really easy. I saw some guys survive in New Camillion as Luxembourg and Iron Man. This game, I think, definitely needs a rework. I wouldn't say it's easy, because um, I still lost as France against the, uh, Germany, you know. But I don't think it's necessarily the hardest game of all time, you know. I would not say that. You're seventh in the leaderboard? <laughs> nice. Bring them? I mean, I could bring the puppers, but I don't have a shirt on, so... Dog cam is not an option. I mean, unless I put a shirt on, but that's too much work. Puffers aren't worth it, in my opinion. Is that heresy, Alexis? <laughs> Alright, everyone, put your all into it. Put your all into it. We gotta push him off the coast. Dogs are always worth it. <laughs> Man, it's nice to be able to do an achievement run for Twitch. Because then I just, you know, I put it up on YouTube. And it's fairly good quality. I checked the first uh, set. And the second set messed up a little bit. But that was my fault. But, like, it's actually, it's pretty good quality. And I really uh, like it because it's, it's much more laid back. I don't have to do intros and outros. I don't have to worry about timing. I just play, you know. And I really like that. 
sort of thing. So I think I'm definitely going to do more of these in the future, which is really fun. Because I, I have enjoyed this quite some, uh, quite a bit. So, anyways, would you guys want to... I think next up I was going to do a EU4 achievement run. What are your guys' thoughts on that? Because EU4 is a different game. It's very different, but it's also going to be kind of the same setting. So what do you guys think about that? This is good. Once we push up past Oregon and Seattle, we'll have to. We don't have to span this much width. It'll be, you know, much more, and it'll decrease as we go along. That's that's really, that's going to be the main problem for us, I think, is just keeping, uh, keeping everything kind of hemmed in. Need more dating sims. <laughs> Uh, I mean, honestly, I do plan on doing that in the future. I do plan on doing more of those. It was very fun. So, I, I had a great time with it, if we're being honest here. And, uh, and I'm not just saying that. I, I actually had a good time playing it. I thought it was fun. I thought it was interesting. The writing in the tank dating sims, in the tank dating sim, was it was actually pretty good, too. Like, the sometimes the writing is just awful. Like, the, the Neko, Neko Para was not too bad, but I didn't really like the style of the writing. And, and you know, I've watched anime and stuff, so I kind of know how anime writing normally goes. The writing in Neko Para was a little bit too almost like fan servicey or pandering, in my opinion. Um, you know, it wasn't the very uh, high class. <laughs> I am the you know I only take the I only accept the uh, highest quality of uh, visual novels about banging girls. But anyways, um, I mean, no, seriously, I did I like the the writing better in the other one. So, in uh, Tank Dating Sim, so, uh, hopefully that, I don't know if you guys agree with me on that. If you don't, F you, I'm just kidding. Okay, yeah, there's Albania. By the way, the next achievement I'm planning on doing for, uh, EU4, I was, uh, I was planning on doing, like, Albania or Iberia. I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys think that's, uh, sexy enough? I don't know what I'm talking about, man. I'm gonna go ahead and dump these units into the field. We need more troops, mainly. So, I think I'm gonna put, like, all but two on the, this border. And... The other one, the other two, I'm going to put on this border over here. And you know what, I'm going to take you and push you up in here, might as well. No divisions in basic training, oh no, whatever will we do? No train one, god damn it. Come on, US, I just want to get you to capitulate. Capitulate me, baby. I don't know. Mm, it would be nice to have some, uh, some more high movement people. And I, I guess I do. I have this cavalry, you know? I might actually, you know what? Let's, let's risk it for the biscuit. Ooh, this guy's an elite cavalry. Look at that. Look at that. He is a veteran. Which is plus 75% modifier in combat. Jeez, I didn't realize it was that high. I think it's getting to the point now where most of our units are uh, that good because they've all seen so much combat, which is so good. I can't explain how good that is. Is that you? You already made it down here. Yes. Wow. And that's one reason I think why we're crushing these guys so much. Uh, just because we have such high quality troops as far as training goes. Alright, tell you what, I want you guys to, I'm going to give you guys a new front line because you already demolished the other one. Just, you know, come up here and curve up here and you feel inferior enemy. Go. Just go. And I want you to be aggressive about it. Be aggressive, boy. 
Can't wait for the U.S. to retreat to Philippines and refuse to surrender until you take them. Well, the Philippines is a puppet, right? So they, I don't think they will actually, they're a puppet. So once we get the U.S. to capitulate, that should end the war, which is it, as that is as it should be, you know. Like, come on. Historically, if the U.S. had lost Washington and their whole country, they would have surrendered. They wouldn't have retreated to the Philippines. I mean, maybe they would have. I think, like, come on. Come on. Like, like come on, man. Right, I want you to spearhead that attack, and we're going to rush in with this cavalry. Canada is next. <laughs> Land of the Canads, as I call them. I'm just it doesn't make any sense. Um, we almost have Biloxi. How do you say that? Biloxi? Is it is it French? I'm guessing it's. I would assume it's French. That's why it like. You know. All right, we need to make our way up towards Charleston. Let's see if we can make it that far. Okay, he's going pretty fast. Hopefully, it's fast enough to break free. Uh, I want to break free. If he can reach the next port by the time he, you know, he's... He, all he has to do is just reach the next port by the time the last one was cut off. And if he does that, he can, you know, be supplied this whole way through. Real quick, I'm going to move your front line back to here. Because I really don't want you to think you have to protect this dude. This is a, a gamble, but it's a gamble I'm willing to take, you know? And we'll see, we'll see. I'm going to no longer the effects from Reign of Terror. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. I was not expecting that. When are you going to reach Charleston? It's... that's not correct. It, the next one should not be the same as the destination, that's lying. Uh, it's supposed to say... Above the... the first part is supposed to say when it reaches the final destination. But, yeah, whatever. Fun fact about Louisiana is the only state that doesn't have counties. Yeah, I did I did actually know that, uh, Alexis. I knew that it had parishes, and that's why I actually... The reason I know this is because, like, a couple years ago, I was curious, and I was like, what state has the most counties? And so I looked it up, and it said, well, uh, Georgia has the most counties, I believe. Um, I, I believe Georgia's the most. And it was like, Georgia has the most counties, but that's only because Louisiana doesn't have counties. They have parishes. Uh, and parishes are not the same thing as counties, and they have like 450 of them, um, which is quite a few. And they're like, yeah, they're different. It's kind of, and that comes back, goes back to the whole uh, French thing. Oh yeah, look at this. They're trying to rush troops back over here now, because they realize that this is a problem. So we have a choice here: do we keep pushing when we reach Charleston, or do we stop? Oh, they're trying to catch us. You know what? We're in a port, so we actually will have supply even if we get cut off. Why don't I, real quick, let's pause. You're not moving in the way, so I'm going to detach you. You're an elite troop as well, which is really fun. There is there a level beyond the freaking elite level? That, that's crazy if there is. And we're going to risk something. We're going to risk, you know, strategically redeploying you all the way along here. We're going to see how it works. But yeah, I believe Georgia has the second most uh, counties, like behind Louisiana, if, if, if we're counting them, you know. Uh, but I believe Georgia's next with like, um, with like 200 or something, 250 even? I don't know. I mean, it's a big state. It's definitely, it's the biggest state in the, the southeast, I believe. It's fairly big. Um, but yeah, I believe that they're... Uh, that, that's the second biggest as far as the number of counties. I don't know what's after that though. If we could get, yeah, if we could get even just one infantry in here to, you know, start to try to get around them, I think we could have a good shot about making it to Washington, you know? And I think every additional unit we bring also increases our chances quite a bit, but I don't really want to bring any other troops from other places. They actually just moved out of our way. Interesting. I don't know how that strike didn't work for you guys, but... I wonder if it, There might be a level beyond 
that are gonna be like commando or something on special ops, I don't know. Um, okay. How far are they from capitulation? 36%? Wow. Alright, so now they're starting to put oh, troops along the border, which means that they've actually like funneled troops out of here. Wow. That's pretty interesting. An interesting strategy there. US. Okay, well, let's go ahead and what we're going to do, I think, is start doing this. We're going to move along the port, uh, towards each port, and keep, you know, the infantry behind to be a uh, backup that's ready to come in if needed. Looks like they are moving in to cut us off, that's okay. We're gonna get our supplies from the sea starting now. They're gonna make it to the to Charleston. No, that's not Charleston. Yeah, that is Charleston. This is South Carolina. Hey, this is where I live. I can't tell you guys exactly where though. You might stalk me. We know how Alexis is and all that. I'm just messing. Okay, looks like he's about to make it, so we'll go ahead and bring in the infantry to back him up. And if we do this, we might be able to make it to, to Washington. We're not that far. There's the Chesapeake, and Washington is right there. <laughs> what? I'm just messing with you, Alexis. Okay, so let's start pushing on the coast. Now, let's take the fastest route, whatever it may be. like this is cheese and you know it well what, what do you mean uh cheese and they're freaking this is how you play the game mm -hmm. it's the name of the game baby oh yeah bye baby right there right there baby oh we also just got this freaking uh land doctrine which gives us plus 10 organization we are let's see what is our limit we had 54 as our limit. We just got another 10. They were at 64. That's like a, you know, like a close to a 20% increase in our fighting strength or fighting. It's more like fighting durability. How long we can fight? That's you know, that's pretty great. You know, that's pretty good. If units can fight 20% longer. That's uh, that's pretty good. Italy joined the Axis. Cool. Since when? Who do I stalk? You stalk me, Alexis. You stalk me. You know it. You know it to be true. Yeah, I'm on top of the pack. Whatever. What do you ever? I don't give a queer. Let's try a different strategy. Try to do it the opposite way. Okay, we're cut off. We are officially now cut off from enemy, uh, from friendly troops. Well, actually, we already were, but you know. Now we're really cut off, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to kind of dig in and see what we can do. How's it going up here? It's progress in the northwest. Not going too poorly, not going too great, but whatever. We do have more factories now as well. Which is very good. Of course, none of, none of them are uh, rip elite divisions. Nah, they're in a port, so they are getting supply. Yeah, we don't have any any attrition, which is great. We don't. Have, we have no attrition. Basically, the only thing that might limit us is if they uh, if they just wear us down enough. If they attack us long enough, yeah, uninterrupted. But they have low supply and stuff, so it's not looking too likely. I don't think they're gonna be able to pull this back forever. Uh, this is dumb. We should keep one unit behind. Definitely. And they kind of don't know what to do. But they did start to form up an encirclement, you know? But they didn't actually get it set up in time, so. Hey, look at that! Tactical Swag just donated a dollar. I couldn't actually hear the uh, alert sound this time, but I just saw it. And I saw the movement on the other monitor for the on my Twitch alerts. Thank you for the dollar donation, Tactical Swag. Um... He says, congratulations on completing the achievement. Yeah, no problem, man. That's what I do. I'm an achievement hunter, baby. Naval invasion on that port you hold. I could, uh, I could transfer, mm, excuse me, transfer troops here by sea, but I don't have much to spare off the front lines. And they also have 100 ships present here, so it probably wouldn't make it. I'm surprised that it's not even, they haven't even killed any convoys yet uh, that are bringing supplies there. Um, run, one second. 
I need to add tactical swag 10. It was like, it was 10 per dollar, right? Yeah. There you go. Tactical swag, there's your coins. Use them well. Be sure not to spend them all in one place. Yeah, I gave you your coins, man. There you go, buddy. <laughs> give me my coins. Yeah, this is just gonna reinforce the fact that everyone is saying it's a, a pay-to-win uh, pyramid scheme. I promise, it's only virtual. Exposed. Poetry stud exposed. Hey guys, I just found this new website. I found this new streamer and uh, he gives you money for, you know, like betting on stuff. And I just found it. It's totally not like it has my name in the, in the URL. About to drop $50 for i under. Don't do that. I feel bad. I would, I would honestly feel bad if you did. If you dropped five, uh, fifty dollars. That's wearing out our supply quickly, so that's not good. Probably not gonna work. Exposed. Yep. It's probably not gonna work. I think we're gonna have to fall back for now. But good thing is we might be able to get him to. We might be able to trick him. That's the one thing that might work. Okay, yeah, look at this. So he's gonna move there. How, how long till you get here? Hours. 20 hours. Yeah, so we can at least run back here. And if we can, we might be able to cheese it. I don't know. I don't even think it's cheesy, really. If they're leaving, you know, a, a large city and uh, it's like Norfolk undefended. Yeah, you have 53 poetry coins. Nice. Good job, Tactic Swag. You know how to save your your currency, your virtual currency that has no effect or meaning in the real world. Uh, we should, if we can, try to take this guy out now because he is in a position that kind of opens up our flank on an additional five provinces when there only needs to be one that we can defend. So we should definitely try to knock him out of there. We're up in Washington now. Nice. That's pretty good. I want you to go for Seattle. It's a big city. It's got to have some industry. <laughs> Man, I love heartsofironlotto.com. Look at all that green. It's beautiful. Look at all that beautiful green there. Oh man, look at this! This dude freaking has 98 equipment. Or 98% equipment. He just doesn't have that support equipment. You know, honestly, that's okay. You don't need support equipment. And I want you to come over here. And you're gonna be reinforcements. Please play memes. What do you mean? Like, like tank getting sim? When can we get a built-in meme generator bot for this chat? I mean, there are bots that like basically do that, so I could probably figure that out. But I honestly, I don't get paid enough. I'm just messing. <laughs> Whoa! Why do we have all this equipment now? Did, did we catch up with our need really that quick? It's pretty good. Oh, shiz. Oh, shit, what up? Since we actually have it uh, caught up, we should do this. We should go ahead and upgrade. We're going to have a little bit less, uh, a little bit, li little bit less efficiency right now, boy. I don't know, man. Ah, we, they just keep pounding away at us. Keep pounding us. Drilling us really hard. Other double entendres. <laughs> Sexual double entendres, if I'm not bad. I don't know what I'm saying. This stream went to hell in a handbasket real quick, like. 